And I just wanted to show you how I'm making my bee candy to feed my bees through the winter. I'm making a frame full of sugar candy. Instead of putting it on the top of the frames, I'm putting it as a frame. Sugar candy frame. So you need to have your mold lined or your frame lined like a mold, you know, so you can just pour the hot sugar in and have it be held into the frame with the wax paper. It'll mold it for you this way. And so you want to have this ready. Do not attempt this until you have some kind of pan or something lined already, ready to go. I'm taking wax paper and I'm going to line my frame. You take the wax paper and you mark Mark the edges. You're going to fold here along these lines. To make a rectangle, you take your frame and you line it with wax paper. You're going to line it with wax paper. I'm going to tape the edges and have this ready before I start making my bee candy. This is the frame I'm using. I'm going to line it with wax paper. And then I'm going to make my sugar candy for my bees. And then I'm going to take the edges so that it stays into a rectangle and fits right in my frame. And I'll bring you back. Alright, you're going to... You're going to find, fold it. Fold the wax paper. I wish I had another hand to do this. But you're going to join the corners. Like that. And then you're going to tape it. And then it should stay up like this. The tape. Join the creases. Join the creases. Gonna join the creases. And fold it. Then tape, and it's gonna be a square. You do that to all the corners. And tape right here. I place my tape, and then it's going to form a corner. Again, this corner. You're going to bring the corner edges that you creased together and then you're going to fold this and like that and tape it and then what you want to do now is cut each corner because you want to be able to 
fold this excess out of your way and tape it to the bottom to underneath to keep it out of your way. So, alright. I have them folded down, the sides folded down and taped underneath. And I'm just going to do this last one. And now my mold is ready. I can, now it's ready for me to pour my sugar candy in it to feed my bees. Okay, this is my bee candy continuation. I'm making bee candy for my bees to winterize them. This is three cups of sugar. I'm adding one cup of water. Do not turn on the stove yet until you mix this. You don't want to have the water boiling yet. You want to turn it on and cook it. Heat it as you all together. You don't want to add the sugar to hot water. I guess it mixes better and dissolves the sugar better slowly. So you bring this to a boil. You're going to bring it to 240 and I'll bring it back. I just wanted to let anybody know that's doing this. This is very dangerous to do. Do not have kids anywhere near you, pets or anything, and make sure you have a mold ready. If you get this on you, it is going to burn like lava. I never touched lava before, but I touched this, and this is what I imagine lava feeling like. When it gets so hot, it's so sticky and won't, won't get off your skin easily, so just please be careful. You want to continually stir this, and you're going to bring it to 240. I put this in another frame's place. I like this idea. I hope it might somebody might have done it before, but this is the way I'm doing it. Pollen, you can add the next. And I like this. It's ready to go. I just have to place this in my hive. This is the frame I had lined. I took the candy out of the wax paper, put holes in it, Put zip ties through the holes, attached it to my frame. Now my bees have plenty of food if they need it for winter. If they don't need it, they won't eat it. It's there to help them prosper. To help them if they need it so they don't starve. Hope you like this idea. I just take this and Take one of the frames out of my beehive and place this in its place.